FastFunAndEasy.com. I'm Gene, and I'm going to show you uh, how I like to play Lola by the Kinks. Let's get started. All right, so this song's in the key of E, and uh, the scale. If you want to, you know, play a lead to it, turn it into that type, uh, it would be the E major scale or the C sharp uh, blues scale. The song is five verses, three bridges, and two uh, courses. The strum pattern for this, almost the whole way through, not quite, but almost, is four down strokes and one up stroke. So it's like we're going down, 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 up, down, 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 up. And if you want to count, it's one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and there are some places that that strum pattern changes a little, but not much. All right, as an intro, and the intro goes uh, from a C to a D to an E, like so. Which is down, 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 up. One more time. C. Down, 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 down. To the D. Down, up. E. Down. And then, we're going to pick, and that out of that E chord, we're going to pick the first three strings. All up strokes. Up in the first string, second string, and third string. Do it again. First string, second string, third string. Pick them three times, then strum the E chord, like so, just one down stroke. Then we are ready to start the tune, okay? Uh, we come to one of the first verses, and it is uh, from E to an A to a D to an E to an A, like so. I met her in a club down in Old Soho Where ya A? Drank champagne D? Taste just like cherry E? Cola C-O-L-A A Cola And then we're gonna go um, to an A suspended 4 upstroke and back to an A with an up and a down. And that goes D again. She walked up to me and she asked me to dance. So you see I'm doing that down, 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 down. One, two, three, four. I did it twice with the E just like I did the first time. I'm going to do the same with the A. I ask her her name and his one time for that one, excuse me, and D, dark brown voice, she said, one time there too, counting to that four, E, Lola, Lola, okay, so I'm going to do that uh, again, she walked up to me and she asked me to dance, I asked her for name and in her dark brown voice, she said, Lola, 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 Now we come to that intro, that, that C thing, Lola. Okay, like we did before, that little intro, the intro thing of the C, the D, and the E. Um, at this point, we're going to chuck in the first little lick 
uh, and it goes, so we just finished on that E, and then it goes from the fifth string, uh, uh, no, excuse me, uh, we, we jump up at this point to the ninth fret, and we play string number three and four, both at the same time. It's the only two strings we want. We don't want string number five and six or one and two. Only three and four. And we're going to play them both at the same time, four times. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to um, go to the third string, 11th fret, and pick it and bend it a, a full, a whole step, and release it. So it's like we're bending from 311 to 5, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, from, from the 11th fret and making it sound like we're playing the uh, 13th fret. All right, it's a bend and release. Then you go back down to the 3rd string 9th fret, down one, over to the 4th string 11th, 4th string 9th, 5th string, 5th uh, 11th, 5th, 9th, and slide down to the 5th, 7th. It's a legato slide, you're only picking this note. You're not picking that one, the technique is giving you the sound of that one. And then 5, 9, I'm going to finger it and pick it and do a legato slide up 2 frets to 5, 11. Again, you're not picking that one, only the first one. And then you go to... Uh, fourth string and fifth at the ninth fret bar both of them and pick both and hammer on only on the fifth eleventh and then to the third string and fourth string both at the ninth play it twice pick the fifth string at the eleventh with an upstroke back to the 3rd and 4th at the ninth, and hammer on at the 11th. So this time, that hammering on is on higher strings, it's not on the lower ones, and back to 3rd and 4th at the ninth. That's that whole lick. So it goes... So when we go back to, uh, we're, we're going to go to verse uh, 2, and if we think back of verse 1, it's actually like in two parts. The first part that starts in the end says, a metter in a club down in old Soho, drink champagne, this tastes just like cherry cola, see ole cola. And the second part that goes, she walked up to me and she asked me to dance. So we're going to call them part 1 and part 2. And here we are in the second verse. And we start, of course, with part one, where I'm not the world's most physical guy. And so I'm counting out one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. And we're doing an upstroke. Sec second verse. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two. That's the second verse. Uh, it's like the first verse. It's showing you how to throw in that quick D. However, you don't have to put that D in if you don't want. You can just simply go like this. I met her in a uh, uh, Excuse me. I'm not the world's most physical guy. A, but when she squeezed me tight, D, she nearly broke my spine. E, oh my lola. See, I didn't put it in that time. So I like throwing that quick D in there, but you don't have to put it in if you don't want to. But there it shows you what the count was. Now, when we're finished with that first part of verse 2, we come to our first lick that goes, uh, and we're going to call it lick number 2 because lick number 1 earlier was that thing that went, okay? Uh, so this is 
lick two and it starts in the fifth string third fret and you can hammer on to the fifth string fourth fret or pick it you can even slide if you want to it's up to you and then we go to third string second fret and fourth string second fret pick them both at the same time fourth string fourth fret fourth string second fret so I'm going right after we come out of that chord progression so right after that run we're coming back to the E again because we're singing the uh, second uh, part of verse 2 which is the part that goes, I'm not dumb, but I can't understand why she walk like a woman and talk. So we're coming now into the intro chords again. After the at the end of the second verse, doing the C, D, E, and we go back and do lick one again. The part that goes. And what brings us to our first bridge, bridge number one, starts in a B. And uh, it goes, it's, it's where it's sung, uh, we drank champagne and danced all night in F sharp under electric candle light. But A, she picked me up and sat me on her knee. Said, holding that A, said, little boy, won't you come home with me? So all was that was about three or four measures of that. Uh, Me up and sat me on her knee. Said, little boy, won't you come home with me? It was four measures of counting to four on that A. Then we go back to E because we're on into verse three. Verse three is uh, part two of the verses. It's one that just takes it from, from E and says, um, the words there, I'm not the world's most passionate guy. When I looked in her eye, almost fell for my Lola. Lola, Lola, Lola. Lola, Lola. Back to the intro chords again, the C. Lola, C, D, E. Uh, and lick one again. Now we come to bridge two. Bridge two goes in A with the, uh, with a down stroke. Sing. I, I push. So I'm push. I push. C sharp minor with an upstroke. Uh, B with an upstroke and a down stroke. Away. So let's do that again. I pushed her away. Now we have this little bass run. I'm gonna throw in here. It's a fifth string, second fret. I'm gonna pick it three times. One, two, three, down, up, down, up. Or down, up, down, excuse me. And we go to the fifth string, fourth fret, pick it and slide up two frets to the sixth fret. It's a legato slide, you're only picking the first note, not the second. Cross over to the fourth string, fourth fret. Take it once. Back to the fifth string, sixth fret with an upstroke. And the sixth string, seventh fret with an upstroke. At this point, you can slide that down, but it doesn't last very long. It's real quick because you're going right back to that A again. Uh, Okay, let's go do that one more time. Down, up, up, down, run. All right, so again, what's being sung here is I pushed her away, I walked to the door, I fell 
fall to the floor. My God. Now we just did that, all of that, three times. And now we go to knee. Oh, God. Uh, down on knees. It's a down stroke on a knee, an up stroke on a G sharp minor, and a down uh, up stroke and a down stroke on a C sharp minor. And I looked at her and she at me with a B. And I looked at her and she at me. And it's going one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. And I looked at her and she at me. Okay. We now go to verse four. Make an E chord. We're going to arpeggiate it. And the way I. Uh, it, it, verse 4, the chord progression is the same um, as it uh, was for verse 1. So it's an E, A, D, E, A thing that we're going to do two times in a row, arpeggiating. And I do four down strokes. One, two, three, four. Now switch. Go to the first string and do four up strokes. One, two, three, four. Go to an A, do the same thing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's the part where we're singing. That is the way that I want it to stay. A, always want it. D, be that way for my Back to E. Lola. Lola. Get to the D in that progression. Go one, two, three, four. That's one, two, three, four. Because I'm picking a uh, the first string third fret and pulling it off the first string second. So it's like we're playing a D suspended four there. Okay, so that's done, all of, all of that chord progression is done twice because we also got to sing the part that goes, Girls will be boys and boys will be girls. A, it's a mixed up, modeled up, D, shook up, whole world except for A, low, oh, excuse me, A, E, low, la, low, 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 A, low, la. Now at this point, I just... Uh, out of the A chord, finish pick, uh, picking the fourth string with an upstroke, and I like to throw in this little run. It's my run. It's not in Lola. I, you know, I promote creativity, so I like doing this. I'm going to pick the third string, fourth fret, and pull it off to the third string, second fret, and pull it off to open. I move that across to the fourth string and do exactly the same thing. Four four, four two, and four open. Move it across again. Five four, uh, five two, and five open. And then we just heard that five open, and then I pick five open one more time and go to a B chord. So I'm going. Into with that B chord into bridge number three, where we're singing. Well, I left home just a week before, and I never ever kissed a woman before. Lola smiled and took me by the hand, said, "Little boy, I'm gonna make you a man." So you see, we're real holding the A there. Part we're back to that normal strumming. We're going one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and down, 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 up, uh, four down, one up, uh, etc. We hold that A on bridge number three, and it's parts that's being sung saying, Said little boy, I'm gonna make you a man. We're going back to E, and we're doing, um, which is being sung. 
Well, I'm not the world's most masculine man, but I know what I am, and I'm glad I'm a man. So is Lola, 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 Lola. And this is a chorus, and we're going to do it multiple times. Lola, 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 Lola. However many times you like doing that, uh, I you do it twice, I believe. If you can do it three, four, five, you can keep it going. It's, it's up, totally up to you to do it as many times as you like. Um, and we're going to end uh, after the... On that E, we're going to go back to just like we started in the beginning and uh, do the first three string upstrokes. Uh, arpeggio thing and then strong and then the song so here's the ending you can end like that or you can put in some harmonics if you like or not again you do your own thing okay let's back out Okay, so that's Lola. Uh, it's it's a harder song. It's more complicated. Uh, putting all those pieces together, uh, the verses, the bridges, and the bridges are different. They're not the same. And some of the different beats, and chuck it in some of the you know riffs and licks or uh, uh, the licks that are in there. It's, uh, excuse me, and that one run. Uh, so. Uh, the arpeggio thing also, but it's it's a lot of fun. This song is fun. It's a great tune. Uh, well, thank you, Kinks, and um, guitar players, thank you also. Hope to see you again. Bye.